What is up guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Bot. Woo! Adam, now today the story I'm gonna tell you, oh man, this is the story of the most embarrassing day of my <laughs> life. <laughs> okay. Now this story takes place back in middle school. Now you already know a lot of embarrassing things happen at that age. Uh -huh. You know, middle school's an awkward time. I was a very awkward kid, okay? What? Still Still am now, <laughs> but I was even more cringe, more awkward back then. How could you possibly get more cringe than we already I, are I now? I don't know if you could even imagine <laughs> that. Basically, this whole story revolves around something we all know and love. Actually, something we all know and hate. Group projects oh, at school. Oh, dude. man. Anytime the teacher is like, all right, guys, pair up for a group project, I hate it. You are immediately in trouble because y'all know we don't have any friends. <laughs> Nobody's grouping up with us. And also, this story involves a girl. Got some romance. This story about to get crazy. This story takes place in middle school art class. Okay. So in art class, everybody gets assigned to a different table. You don't get to choose where you sit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My table was three people. It was me and two other boys. Now, we were randomly assigned our table mates, and these two kids, okay, one of them, literally, everyone at school referred to this kid as Danger Dan. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was the original bad boy. Well, wait, wait, Danger Dan? Oh, Danger Dan? What did people call you? Juicy Justin? <laughs> <laughs> everyone called him Danger Dan because he was very scary, very okay. aggressive. He was, like, very large, uh -huh. like, tall and large at a young age uh -huh. and he had actually been suspended once before because he got in a fight with some other students. Okay. So Danger Dan was like really quiet. He always looked very intense. Yeah. And he just kind of sat in the corner. He was very scary. Okay. And the other kid, we had Danger Dan and the other kid, his name was Willis. <laughs> Dude, this was the most cringe art table of all time. You got Justy, you got Danger Dan, and you got Willis. And Willis is really really one of the centerpieces of this story. Now, Willis was a very awkward kid, very shy, just like me, uh -huh. except a little bit less cringe. Uh -huh. He was just very quiet, like uh -huh. a very reserved kid. Okay. okay. So now the art teacher comes in and says, okay, we're going to have our final project before break. Everybody needs to get in random groups based on your table and do this together. I said, what? <laughs> I got to work with Danger Dan and Willis? <laughs> Why? This art teacher did not like our table. Uh -huh. She's Why? like, these kids are troublemakers. Two of them are very cringe, <laughs> and one of them is a troublemaker. Okay. She didn't like us. Dude, I could not make this up. She literally split up the art studio because, like, all the groups need a place to work. She gave our table to another group. She put us in a closet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could not make this up. It was a dark musty closet where all the art supplies were uh -huh. and she's like working there there's no windows <laughs> there's nothing in there what was the project that you guys had to do together we just had to make some sort of art project and then present it in front of the class okay the group project was not off to a good start okay i'm gonna say for about the first three days nobody said anything in that closet <laughs> we just sat there just looking at each other dude i remember this to this day danger dan was sitting there and he would take pencils <laughs> from the art supplies because we're in the supply closet and he would just break all of them. Like, who does that? And you and Willis are just watching him. Just... I was terrified. I said, get me out of here. A few days go by and you know, we got a couple weeks to put this together. I'm like, it is crunch time. I cannot let my grades slip because you know, I have a big brain. I got to do well in school. Okay. I said, I got to make a play. I got to do something. I got to break the ice. We're wasting too much time. You're going to save this group project. I got it's like an anime, like a sports team anime. <laughs> I gotta come in and unite everybody because these two kids clearly don't care about their grades uh -huh. and we need to do well. So one day I go to class, I'm determined to make a change. I'm still scared of Danger Dan because he's still there snapping <laughs> pencils, not talking. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go try and talk to Willis. So I go up to Willis, just introduce myself, try to get a conversation going. It's very awkward, but we actually connect because I learned that Willis likes to play chess. 
Okay. And you know, awkward, nerdy middle school Jesty <laughs> is a chess master. <laughs> okay, I went to all the tournaments. I'm bringing home the trophies. So Willis likes to play chess. So what we actually do is we use some of the art supplies and we paint it like a chess board and we used to play chess together in the closet. You made your own chess board? We had nothing else to do. <laughs> so a few days go by, things are getting better and Danger Dan starts to open up a little bit too. He starts to watch us play. He's very interested in what's going on. Uh-huh. I start he probably just ran out of pencils. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to stab you guys. <laughs> so I start to connect a little bit with Danger Dan. Also, I find out he likes to play video games online. Okay. And again, you know awkward, nerdy, middle school Jesty is playing lots of online video games. Now, you know I like to play Maple Story, some fun stuff. Some Club Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta expose me? <laughs> Just cause I got 50 Club Penguin accounts. So Danger Dan likes to play some older, like some violent games, you know, online. Uh -huh. And he used to like teach me, like share tips. And we would actually go home from school and we would play together online. Okay. So I start to be friends with Willis and friends with Danger Dan through our nerdy hobbies. This is going great. Yes, it was going great. And soon it was literally like fun to go to art class. Yeah. So we just get to hang out in a closet unsupervised just chill yeah a few days go by and i say all right guys gotta get a team huddle in here <laughs> guys we need to make some sort of project <laughs> my life hinges on getting a good grade in middle school art class we had all connected now we felt closer to each other and willis opened up to us this left me shook so there was this girl in art class her name was isabel she was very pretty. She was a very nice girl. One of the popular girls, definitely out of the league of me, Willis, and Danger Dan. Okay, well, that's not saying much because every girl is out of your league. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. None of them are out of yours, right? Because your neck is so long. Uh, weird flex, but okay. So Isabel was definitely one of the cooler kids. Really pretty, really nice. I kind of knew her. Like, I had, like, spoken to her a few times. Uh -huh. But, like, Willis and Danger Dan had never said anything anything to her in their lives. Mm -hmm. Well, Danger Dan just didn't talk to people, but Willis was really shy. Right. Like, he was really shy. To set this up, there was, in a couple of weeks, a school dance. There was like a homecoming type dance. Okay. Okay. And so in this team huddle, Willis, like some sort of action movie hero, says, guys, I have a crush on Isabel. And you know what, guys? I feel empowered because now I have you two as my first friends. I think we should make it our project. We're gonna present this in front of the class. Uh-huh. It should be be a way for me to ask Isabel to the dance. Dude! Dude, Willis stepped up. Oh my gosh, that's so creative. Willis smart. I was like, dude, you're a genius. Let's do it. Okay, so you and Danger Dan were basically now his like wingmen? Yes. Me and Danger Dan had all figured out Willis is about gonna get married. Let's go. <laughs> we're thinking real hard. For the next couple days, we're just thinking, we're brainstorming, uh -huh. we're drawing up the schematics. Now, had Willis talked to Isabel at all? No, never. Never in his life. <laughs> So this is gonna be like his first time talking. Dude, he's gonna boss up, dude. Okay. He's just gonna go in. Now, at this point in my life, I had another hobby, another passion, making videos. Okay. So, in art class, they had like these really old school camcorders. Uh-huh. So they had like these camcorders that we could borrow, uh -huh. right? And so I was like, dude, what if we made like an action movie and present it, like showed it in front of the class, and at the end, you ask her out to the dance. Dude. I was like, dude, everybody else in class playing checkers, the three of us <laughs> playing chess. Okay, we got a big brain, it's gonna work. So you're gonna make a movie where Willis is the action star and at the end of beating everyone up, he's like, hey, by the way, Isabel, do you wanna date me? That is exactly what it was. I, I still remember to this day, this plot was that Willis will play a spy and he has a secret message he's gotta deliver. And you already know what that secret message is. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> the secret message was, Isabel, will you go to the dance with me? <laughs> so our team was so hyped. We were like, dude, this is the most 900 IQ play of all time. We're going to get the girl. And more importantly, <laughs> we're going to get A's. Okay? So for the next few days, we go outside. Dude, this was so epic. They came to school with costumes. I came with the camera, right? I was uh -huh. behind the camera directed we had like fight scenes 
where like Spy Willis had to fight Danger Dan. And just like over and over again. Dude, he looked so tough because Danger Dan was huge. Everyone was terrified just of him. Breaking pencils in the action scene. <laughs> this story gonna make it sound like I had a crazy childhood, but somehow Danger Dan brought like a real sword. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 he brought like a ninja sword to school, like a real one. And we used it in the movie. I don't That's know how. That's dangerous. He's Danger Dan. <laughs> so we finished filming. I honestly remember, like I was so hyped about all this, right? Like this story is amazing. It's like a real anime. Uh -huh. We united three people who didn't know each other, didn't like each other. We found out this guy likes this girl. We made this movie, right? I stayed up multiple nights in a row editing this video. <laughs> <laughs> this was such a fun project at the end of the day. I was like, dude, this is amazing. And then the movie's done. The big day arrives. The final project? <laughs> the final presentation day arrives. The three of us roll up, you know. <laughs> Stride out of the closet. Okay. We got the flash drive. Got the USB. <laughs> They're not gonna know I hit him. No, put this on the big screen. <laughs> so we got it up on the projector. All the other groups present, you know, it was some kids like, I made a sculpture. <laughs> I made a clay pot. Whatever. You just no. in the background laughing. <laughs> <laughs> then it's our turn. We put it on and we hit play. And that action movie starts. We got some spy music going on. Uh -huh. Willis comes out and says, I have been given a secret message to deliver. Dude, the fight scene goes down. It's crazy. Now, I'm gonna put a little pause in this story right now. So far, right? So far, this whole plan just sounds amazing. This sounds epic. On paper. On paper. Oh, no. This sounds epic. No, what's gonna happen? But, but realize this, Adam. No. Like, think for a minute, though. Like, imagine you're sitting in that class. You have to realize how cringe <laughs> all of this actually is. <laughs> because, because, like, the whole time, like, <laughs> It was because we had spent so much time in that closet, we had lost our mind. <laughs> and like, we're socially awkward kids, so yeah. we didn't like have other friends to be like, hey, this is what we're doing. <laughs> hey, by no. the way, this is a bad idea. Yeah, nobody was like, dude, don't do that, okay? <laughs> in the moment, we're like, dude, these scenes are tough, like this is crazy. But when we were actually just sitting there watching it, <laughs> about halfway through, I was like, <laughs> Started sweating a little bit. What did Danger Dan and Willis think while they were watching? I this? don't really know. I was just staring at the screen. I was trying because I knew I could feel like the teacher and all the other students staring at us. They're like, who are these cringe kids? So I was just. I just stared at the screen. I didn't want to look around. About halfway through the video, I realized, dude, this is probably the most cringe thing that's ever happened in my life. And to make matters worse, I know that in like two minutes at the end, he's gonna ask Isabel to the dance. So I start to panic. I say, okay, time for Spy Justine to shine. Could I somehow stop the recording from playing? How do I save this? But ultimately, I did. Absolutely. <laughs> and it gets to the end. And oh, like there's no. some smoke effects. No. Willis pops up. No. Having defeated Danger Dan, it says, I have the secret message to deliver. No. Isabel, will you go to the dance with me? That was probably what the room just sounded like. Just Dude, silence. It, it was silent <laughs> except for one sound. I cannot make this up. <laughs> Isabel started crying. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Isabel literally started crying and left the class. Oh she just walked out. Dude. Why did she cry? Because of how cringe it was. <laughs> she literally cringed into tears. <laughs> to give her credit, look, Isabel was a very nice girl and she did actually end up saying yes because it would have just been like, she can't say no to that. <laughs> but that's probably why she cried also because she realized like, I can't say no at this point. Like everybody's seen this happen. <laughs> she went to homecoming with him as like a pity favor. Well, she couldn't say no, dude. He literally fought Danger Dan for her. <laughs> in a song. <laughs> that was, hand down, the most <laughs> embarrassing day of my life. <laughs> At the end of the day, we didn't get Willis the girl. We actually all got C's <laughs> on that project. <laughs> that teacher was not amused, okay? <laughs> but 
at least on the bright side, we had made friends with each other. Yeah. Even though it was cringe, Danger Dan and Willis stayed my friends for a long time after that. That's awesome. Hey, we came out of it as friends. You know, we were partners in crime. Or should I say, partners in cringe. <laughs>